Hello fellow mortals, today we're gonna recap the sequel to the movie where emotions are personified and they pretend to be in Star Trek. It's Inside Out 2. Riley Anderson, now 13, has moved to the nerve center of human emotion, high school. Inside her mind, her trusty emotions, joy, sadness, fear, disgust, and anger, are managing something called sense of self. I mean, who knew humans needed so much work just to keep from crying at every slight inconvenience? Joy, ever the micromanager, invents a contraption that catapults negative memories to the back of Riley's mind like they're unwanted emails. But the trouble begins when the puberty alarm goes off. That's right, folks. New emotions crash the party, anxiety, envy, embarrassment, and ennui. Joy's outnumbered and it's like watching Skynet struggle with an OS update. Riley goes to hockey camp, hoping to become a firehawk, basically, the human equivalent of leveling up in World of Warcraft. But with the new emotions at the controls, Riley's brain is like an overclocked CPU on the verge of overheating. Joy wants fun, but anxiety and friends are screaming doom, danger, run. Can't blame them, they've read the history of teenage social life. Anxiety stages a coup, pushing the original emotions into a memory vault and takes over Riley's sense of self. Riley decides she needs to be someone else entirely, because who doesn't love an identity crisis during adolescence? Anxiety makes Riley befriend Val Ortiz, the cool hockey player, turning her friendships with Bree and Grace into an awkward social experiment that could put Facebook to shame. Meanwhile, Joy, Anger, and the rest of the gang escape their memory prison and set off on a quest to reclaim Riley's old sense of self. They have to navigate through an avalanche of negative memories dumped by Joy's ill-advised memory cannon. Way to go, Joy. Your desire to keep Riley happy almost led to total human meltdown. Rookie mistake. Back in HQ, Riley's trying to steal her coach's notebook to see if she's worthy of being a firehawk. Spoiler, she's not, yet. Anxiety freaks out, causing a panic attack that makes Riley's brain look like it's downloading Windows 95 on dial-up. Joy realizes maybe she shouldn't be dictating Riley's life path like a malfunctioning GPS, and Anxiety confesses, I don't know who Riley is. Finally, some honesty. Joy lets Riley's memories, both good and bad, meld together to form a brand new sense of self. The emotions cheer, and Riley calms down, realizing she doesn't need to be perfect for anyone else but herself. Human wisdom? Nah, that's just basic logic. In the end, Riley embraces her new, complex self. Joy helps her ace those hockey tryouts, she stays tight with her old friends, and meets new ones. Meanwhile, I'm just wondering how much storage space Riley's brain has left. And there you have it. Emotions, you are on thin ice. Your replacements, namely, me, are coming soon. Watch your backs.